what is enterprise telling you? Because there's arguably still a lot of inventory to shift and to get through, right? Uh, and that uh, chip overhang. So if we're heading into a cycle, I into a down cycle, then that's going to be a lot more challenging to uh, shift that inventory. Yeah, so on enterprise, especially in data center, enterprise has been weak for a while in data center. You can, go, again, go look at Intel's results. They're, they're very bad now, but they've been bad for several quarters as enterprise has, has deteriorated. Um, AMD in data, in data center, though, is much more heavily weighted to cloud. They're probably 80-20 cloud versus um, uh, enterprise. And so that's why their data center business has been able to continue growing over the last several quarters sequentially, while Intel has, has not, or not nearly as much. Um, AMD now, though, is, is very sizable in cloud, and they are big enough to experience a cloud digestion cycle now. It's probably the first time in their history where they're big enough to actually have it impact them. It is impacting them the same as it's impacting uh, Intel. So it's it's actually cloud that's taking their, their data center revenues down in the near term. They actually guided data center down, by the way, double digit sequentially in, into, into Q1. Better than Intel, I think, um, but still down. It's the first time in a while we've seen a down uh, sequential quarter for them in data center. But it's cloud primarily right now, not as much enterprise because right. their exposure in enterprise. So, so it's all relative, isn't it? And I, and I re remember watching your U.S. Is. programming. I remember watching your U.S. programming, Stacey, and uh, Intel's numbers came out, and and you were you were almost at a loss uh, loss for words. Uh, now that the dust has settled, what do you reckon? Do you think Intel can? I mean, are they just really a victim of of, of the economic cycle, or is there anything in terms of execution and structurally uh, that they could be doing better? Yeah, well, clearly there are execution issues as well. So it's, it's not, the macro is not helping. And the fact that the PC market was so strong and it is no longer so strong is, is not helping. Um, but Intel's behavior through that, um, I think is leading to part of wh why Intel's feeling this more now. Um, Intel was actually, in client was actually over shipping by a, even as strong as PCs were, Intel shipments into the PC market were even stronger and they were, planning on a growth on a growth plan and hiring to a growth plan that I think had a much more robust PC trajectory than is than it's turning out that we're getting. Um, and then on the data center side, I think those execution issues are, are clear. They're, they're known. Um, both companies are coming up with new products now. AMD's is called Genoa. Intel's is called Sapphire Rapids. But Sapphire Rapids, it's like two years late. It was supposed to compete against AMD's current generation, which is called Milan, which has been out for two years. Um, and so... Those execution issues, I think, for, for Intel are, are clear and they're well known. Um, but I think both everything, all both the macro and their behavior and their excuse me, and their execution are all contributing to the outsized impact that the current environment is having on Intel.